Living Breeze Horses. Today we are going to do a little episode of Umo's story, how he's getting on with life. So apart from anything else, this is one of his favourite things. <laughs> it's just pulling the nostrils. You could do that on yourself. It releases the connective tissue a bit in the face. Umo likes that very much. And also the other thing is his mane, which normally we keep it all plaited up because in Spain, it always just went into dreadlocks and got so tangled up. And here, there the water was very hard, um, full of lime scale. And here we have very, very soft water, which means it is very soft and fluffy, but it's not getting tangled up. So we're just leaving it loose now. Of course, here also, it's not the problem of being too hot. Um, and of course, it will get a bit broken on the ends. That's another reason to keep it plaited, that it's, you know, when they're loose, outside and just with general life and grazing and other horses scratching it does tend to lose a bit of length and also we've got a bit here from from the rug in the winter so anyway hey cheeky missed that one you see I should be more attentive and block that before it got to the stage of that nibbly nose so yes, the, so last time we did a story on him, we were working on changing eyes, which is something we're constantly going on with. And the other thing we mentioned that we're going to do today is about making straight lines. So he was very good at whizzing around in small circles when we started out um, from what he'd learned before. And I like my lunging to be circles and changing always the size of the circle the pace of the circle the place and the pace and to make straight lines and that's the bit that he struggles with to keep calm as soon as I want to go straight he tends to want to rush off and he often has a place over this side where he really struggles to cope with um, going straight past so let's have a little look at that and see how we get on Okay, so we're going to start just by going off in a circle. And then we're just going to see if we can do this nicely at walk. And then I'm just going to make a little bit of a straight line. And I can just use my hand towards his eye to ask him to keep out. I'm not going to ask for too much. Make sure I'm nice and relaxed. And then can we make a straight line? just again use my hand to tell him to stay out I can stop my feet here and make another circle and another straight line ask him to stay out oh yeah you see that's a very typical umo reaction <sighs> so we'll just process that keep nice and slow come back to calmness <sighs> That's it. There we go. Good boy. There we go. So we'll try and make a straight line again over this direction. Just say, hey, stay out there. The rope says go that way. This hand can say, which is my right hand, can say, hey, stay out. And as soon as he goes, I just go with. Relax my hands, walk with him. There on the circle. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a bigger circle. Go. Come on, Umo. Good boy. We can even make a little straight line up here towards the fence. And I there, I was just a moment too late. I was just about to say, and I can come back on the circle and relax before he feels the need that it's too much and he has to go into a trot. Lots of things to work on. It might be very, very simple, basic things, but while I can't do those basic things. Why are we going to go on and do other things? So we do combine it that we're not only doing that, maybe do something else and then come back to that so that we keep practicing it without um, it being only that. So, and then little by little to build it up, we can go all the way around the whole arena, make straight lines everywhere we want, circles in and out. And in that he's learning so much. And of course the preparation that when we get on, that he knows all that with the person on the ground and then he can get used to carrying the rider and he already knows some of the figures around the arena. So thank you very much for joining us today. <sighs> Keep tuning into the light and we look forward to see you next time. Bye.